Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's installment of our Introduction to Music Theory class will be Key Signatures. Our lesson objectives will be identifying the order of sharps and flats and an explanation of each key signature. We'll begin with the sharp keys. The first sharp that we encounter is F sharp. So let's draw an F sharp very carefully so that the middle of the sharp encompasses the very top line of the treble clef. And in the bass clef, the F line is the second from the top. And let's draw a G scale. Any note, any key um, that we talk about today, we will use an illustration of the scale. So if we have, we'll do it in bass clef and treble clef. If you have a song, G, A, and you're, play, and you're playing it in the key of G, um, you will probably go to move to other tonal centers, and by that I mean other keys. Um, our tonal center in G is G, and if you have a piece that starts on G, it will usually end on G too. So here's the scale. And um, if you're playing any kind of classical music or rock music, you will definitely have the situation where you use more than one key. That's a little complicated. For today, we're just going to study the scales and the order of sharps. So G has one sharp. D has two sharps. So we'll draw our sharps. The second sharp we always draw is C sharp. So if you're looking at a piece of music and you see one sharp, you look at that sharp and you think, oh, okay, that's one sharp, that's F sharp, that's got to be G. If you see two sharps, you know that's the key of D because D has two sharps. Okay, so let's draw the scale D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now, when you have a key signature that indicates that there are two sharps in the beginning, if I just wrote the scale out with no other sharps, you would automatically play the sharps. That's what you're supposed to do. For an introduction to music theory class, I'm going to remind you of your sharps. In bass clef, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Okay, the key of D. Let's play a, the scale of D. Okay. D has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. on D, you know you're in D. The other secret I have of really being able to tell what key you're playing in, if you're not sure by listening, if you look at the number of sharps in the key signature and you go to the last sharp, in which case, in this case it's C sharp, and you go up one letter to D, you know it's D. The last sharp and the only sharp in G is F sharp, one note above F is G. This is the key of G. So. Let's move on to the keys of A and E. So first sharp is F, the next one is C, the next one is G. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. If we use my trick and we take the last sharp and we go up a half step, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. One note above G is A. We know we're in the key of A. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So, as I said before, you can have a key signature written in and have this written out to the scale without any accidentals by the notes, and you would automatically play the sharps. Since we're just beginning, I'm going to help you, and I will indicate the sharps. And before we listen, let's write out E. E has four sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Now, the last sharp we hit was D. One note above D is E. That's how we know that we're in the key of E. So let's write a scale. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Our sharps are F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. Okay, let's listen. So A, the key of A, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, E, A, G 
G sharp, F sharp. If you have a keyboard at home, it's great practice to play these scales out. So you really, really, really understand in your fingers and with your mind, up close, how these scales sound the same. They all sound the same, but there are different key signatures, different amounts of sharps and flats. And it's also fun to play them at the same time. Here's our A scale. Here's the E. Let's play them both. So A goes to B, E goes to F sharp. Okay, C sharp and G sharp. Ooh, cool. D and A. E and B. Okay. F sharp and C sharp. G sharp and D sharp. E and A. It's really fun to compare scales like that. Okay, so we just finished up E with Chaz, four sharps. Moving on.